The Poet's Nightmare. Alethia Frequotes. Omnia Recess et Omnia. Pulvis et Omnia. Nihil. Demoniac Clouds. Up piled in chasmy reach of soundless heaven, smothered the brooding night. Nar came the wanted whisperings of the swamp. Nar voice of autumn wind along the moor. Nar muttered noises of the insomnious grove whose black recesses never saw the sun. Within that grove, a hideous hollow lies, half bare of trees, a pool in center lurks, that none dares sound, a tarn of murky face, though not can prove its hue, since light of day Affrighted shuns the forest-shadowed banks. Hard by, a yawning hillside grotto breathes. From deeps unvisited, a dull, dank air that sears the leaves on success on the cur- that sears the leaves on certain stunted trees, which stand about, clawing the spectral gloom with evil bows to this accursed dell come woodland creatures seldom to depart once i behold upon a crumbling stone set altar like before a cave a thing i saw not clearly yet from glimpsing fled in this half dusk i meditate alone at many a weary noontide, when, without a world forgets me in its sun-blessed mirth, hear how by night the werewolves and the souls of those that knew me well in other days. Yet on this night the grove spake not to me, nor spake the swamp, nor wind along the moor, nor moaned the wind about the lonely eaves, are of the bleak haunted pile wherein I lay. I was afraid to sleep or quench the spark of the low burning taper by my couch. I was afraid when through the vaulted space of the old tower the clock ticks died away into a silence so profound and chill that my teeth chattered, giving yet no sound, then flickered low in the night, that flickered low, then flickered low the light, and all dissolved, leaving me floating in the hellish grasp a bodied blackness, from whose beating wings came ghoulish blasts of charnel scented mist things vague unseen unfashioned and unnamed jostled each other in the seething void that gapped chaotic downward to a sea a speechless horror foul with writhing thought with writhing thoughts all this i felt and felt the mocking eyes of cursed universe upon my soul. Yet not I saw, nor heard, till flashed a beam of lurid luster through the rotten through the rotting heavens, 
Playing on scenes I labored not to see, Methought the nameless tarn alike at last, Reflected shapes, and more revealed within, Though shocking depths than that e'er were seen before, Methought from out the cave, a demon train, grinning and smirking, reeled in fiendish rout, bearing within their reeking paws a load of carrion viands for an impious feast. Methought the stunted trees with hungry arms groped greedily for things, groped greedily for things I dare not name. The wail, a stifling, wraith-like noisomeness, filled all the dale, and spoke a larger life of uncorporeal hideousness. Awake, in the half-sentient wholeness of the spot, now glowed the ground, and tarn, and cave and trees, and moving forms, and things not spoken of, but such phosphorescence as men glimpse in the protrescent thickets of the swamp, wherein lies wherein logs decaying lie, and rankness reigns, methought a fire mist draped with lucent fold the well-remembered features of the grove whilst whirling either bore in eddying streams the hot unfinished stuff of nascent worlds hither and thither through infinities of light and darkness strangely intermixed wherein all entity had consciousness without the accustomed outward shape of life. All these swift circling currents was my soul. Free from the flesh, a true constituent part. Nor felt I less myself for want of form.